Hey guys and gals, sweet Project Cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. Hey, we are here to do a test on the best duct tape. Julio, tell everybody where they can find all of this stuff. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Thank you, Julio. All right, the first thing we're going to do is clean the glass with lacquer thinner. And I'll show you that it's lacquer thinner. You see that paint pencil mark we put on Julio's car right there? Watch. That's lacquer thinner. And for those of you that are worried about if it's safe for your paint or your clear coat, we're going to be doing a video on things that are safe for your vehicle and things that are not safe for your vehicle's paint. So we're checking the temperature on the vehicle, 55 degrees. And what we're going to use to test this, bricks. They all weigh the same. Eight pounds, 14 and a half ounces. Can you see that? As you know, we're using Duck brand utility tape, T-Rex duct tape, Gorilla duct tape. Go, oh, go in right now and comment which one you think is going to win this. See if you're right this time. You gotta quit straight. You gotta quit striking out here. Tell us which one right now. Do it right now. Don't put it off. And then we're going to use the duct tape max. So here's all we're going to do. These are all purchased at the exact same time. Very simply, we are going to wrap the tape around. This is the duct tape. Max. This is the Gorilla Tape. And they say it sticks to bricks. All that crazy stuff. There's our Gorilla, this will be our T-Rex. But I'll be curious to see how many of you get this one right. And this is the standard duck brand duct tape. We'll just put duck standard. Just for the fun of it, we're going to use the clean release taping tape that we use a lot here. Use this for house paint when you're painting your house. Just to see how strong it is. Kind of give you an idea between just regular tape and duct tape. All right, what we decided to do is to make us some more room. So we're gonna clean this with the same lacquer thinner. The first one we're going to put on is our test. We're going to try to touch the tape as little as possible. This is our test with just standard tape. And we're going to try to put about two inches pressed in good, equally, as much as possible. Now we're going to use our, this is Duct Tape Max. This is our T-Rex. Duct tape max is already starting to come off there with eight pounds. And what we did here is we put a piece of wire at the bottom of each one so we can add more weight if we have to. Next one is our Gorilla. And we don't know which one's going to beat this. 
test here. Duct tape standard. And that is already starting to peel off there. We can't even get it to go with two inches of hole. That's just your standard duct tape right there. All right, let's have at it. Let's put some more weight on it and see what we do. Oh, we don't have to do the duct tape. tape. There goes There goes two of them. The blue tape and standard duct tape both failed on the weight we have. We have some hooks. They're all the same. They all weigh the same. We have some jack stands that weigh about eight pounds. They're all the same. They all weigh about eight pounds. Now you can look up there at the top. You can see the duct tape max is only has about an inch or so holding. The Gorilla is losing a little bit of grip and the T-Rex is holding pretty good. So we're going to hang some more weight on there. We're going to try to do it as equally as fast as we can to make it equal time. And here's the jack stands. Like I said, they're all the same. There goes the duct tape max, and as you see, the gorilla and the T-Rex are battling it out. Now it's time to add more weight, and what we're going to do is, you see, I've got two more bricks. We're going to try to add them in to these jack stands equally. They're both holding. The gorilla tape lost some of its grip here. A little bit. Now we're going to add two more bricks. This could be the deciding factor right here. You're seeing it with your own two eyes. There goes the gorilla and the T-Rex is the winner so if you pick t-rex you are the winner so we'll test it on cloth and see the test between the t-rex and the gorilla and see which one holds best on cloth with the same test but let's add another brick and see if it'll hold another brick nope didn't do it but there you go, T-Rex is the winner if you pick T-Rex. And what I do know is the T-Rex is cheaper than the Gorilla Tape. For the same exact amount, it's like two bucks cheaper. So let's try it on cloth between the two winners and see what we come up with. We're just gonna use the tape that's on there. This is canvas. So like if you have a Jeep or something like that. All right, you see they're both holding. We need to add some more weight. Two more equal jack stands. T-Rex and Gorilla. They're both holding pretty good on that canvas. You got to admit, let's add some weight. Here we go. Holding good. Two more bricks. What do you think? Let's do it. Couldn't do it. I got the weight in the T-Rex and it broke loose. So, 
Let's do this. Let's see how much weight the T-Rex will hold on canvas. There's one. Two. Now there's no making this up. You're seeing that with your own two eyes. Two bricks and it finally came loose.